Yo! So, um, you know, one of the things for people um, is how to, how to dunk, obviously. Dunking is more than jumping higher. You know, we teach you all about how to jump higher, jumpworkbook.com. That's a place to start, free place to start. Uh, we show you that, but a lot of people get to jumping high, they still can't dunk, and that's their, that's their final goal. So I wanted to talk today specifically about how to palm a basketball. You may think it's only size of your hands that matters, but I'm here to tell you, it's not just size that matters. So uh, let's look at a basketball here. I wanna show you, I got some big feet, but I got pretty small hands. So if you look at a basketball, this one, uh, I'm gonna show you how to train your hand to palm a basketball because as you can see here, uh, I can palm a basketball just fine. And if you wanna know what size my hands are, go to this basketball. I'm gonna put my palm at one panel in the middle. I can't even reach the second panel. So I'm just, I'm not as big as two panels on a basketball. However, let me get my notifications out of here. However, I can palm a basketball off a dribble. And that's because you can train your hand to palm a basketball. And I love, palming a basketball isn't just good for dunking. It's good for in the post. I mean, I love being able to palm a basketball. It uh, makes me feel in control of the ball. It helps me enormously. But I have very small hands. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple tricks. The first trick, uh, is if you want to palm a basketball just to dunk it. Let's say you, not, to, not to use in a game or whatever, but just to dunk the basketball. One, it helps to get your hands sticky. And to, do, to get your hands sticky, the ball matters. Some balls are harder than the others, but you take your hand, don't rotate, don't rotate on me. Take your hand and you just want to be squeezing all over the ball. It'll take the dirt off your hand and that your, 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 your hand will just kind of start to stick to it more. So squeezing it, and I do a lot of these banana peel squeezes, and you'll start to really get the feel for that ball. Um, so first of all, if your hands are, are dusty uh, or sweaty, they need to be this kind of right kind of stickiness. And squeezing the ball and kind of just becoming, getting your skin and texture with it is the first thing uh, to getting it right. Now let's talk about the grip. You don't want to grip a ball with the seams like this. You don't want to grip it with the seams. What you want to do is take your hand like this on top and slide it until your thumb and middle finger two are on the panel. So you got two fingers on the panel like this, these two, and then you got a thumb on the panel here, right? Just like that. Then you can actually grip it. So that's how you're going to get a, a palm to dunk a basketball. Go ahead, man. Um, is you're gonna find that grip. And that's the grip where your thumb is on one panel and your two fingers are as wide as you can, right? And notice what my finger's doing there, see that? So that's how you're gonna, that's the grip that's the easiest to, to grip a basketball. Much easier than going with the seams because you actually find an extra groove to get in there and then you can just grab the ball. Now notice what my thumb's doing, notice what my fingers are doing. I've trained my hand to grip a ball like that because when you're gripping a basketball, you, you, you're squeezing it like this. You're not squeezing it like this. So what really matters is your ability to create, you know, to create that grip and then squeeze it this way. You're not squeezing it like, th you're not rolling your fingers into it like this. You're squeezing it like this. So that's why when you grip the ball, you can start to strengthen these muscles too. So that's the grip, you got the grip. Let me know if you get it or not, you understand it. That's the grip to do with the basketball, to dunk it. Um, the, other, the other item here is you can start to train that. So what you wanna do is put your hand in this grip. Now this is the exact grip you need, right? This is the exact area where you're gonna be grabbing the ball. Now get it in motion, and then you can squeeze and do isometric holds where you just So you're just squeezing this and you're actually getting stronger. Don't squeeze for time limit, squeeze for strength. Because at first, that's what you're gonna need is the ability to just, you know. So you're gonna be squeezing those. You can squeeze, hold that maximum effort squeeze for like 10 seconds and repeat that like eight to 10 times. So you're holding, that way you're gonna be strengthening the exact positions of a palm and a basketball. Then you can also start to squeeze it out. So now you got it like this and you're 
You're squeezing that ball out of here like a banana peel. Now eventually, um, that thing's just gonna start to stick to you. It's gonna take time because your muscles and your muscle memory is gonna develop around that palming position, right? So, um, that's how you start to learn to palm basketball. Get the position proper, learn that you need to be able to kind of crank your fingers here, and you're gonna be squeezing the ball like this. Not like this. So it doesn't matter how, how strong your second phalanges are, it matters that you can get in this position. Be interesting to see if I can do it as well with the left hand, because I've practiced that so much with my right hand. I can still get it, but it's not near. It's not, I don't even know if I can get it off the dribble. So you see, I've actually practiced this much more with my right hand. I got it, but my, my right hand, you know, I can just pop that easy. So that is how you do it. And when you got that, you're gonna be able to just So much easier. So, uh, so again, guys, whether you're jumping high, whether you're making progress or not, as soon as you can palm a basketball, I mean, it's so much easier to dunk. When you're palm basketball, you just gotta get basically this wrist over. Not even, if you, can get, if you can get a hand over, you can start doing some cool dunks. I mean, when I started being able to palm basketball, if I was near the rim, even though I couldn't do big dunks yet, if I was near the rim, I was going to try. And then, uh, and keep in mind, you know, I think different basketballs are different. A good, the old leather balls are hard. Old dusty rubble bar balls are hard. These ZK composite balls and, and uh, the, the Spalding game balls, um, you, can, you can palm them real nice. This ball this is an indoor-outdoor ball, but it's pretty... It's pretty good to palm. Most, most good game quality balls are easy to palm. Um, if I believe, if you have instant inches, this we have a palm your palm a basketball routine. A lot of it's in here. There's a little extra stuff in there as well. Um, that's all about finding the position, strengthening that position, uh, and then just doing that regularly over time. It is a skill. Palming a basketball is more than just your size. It is a skill. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let me know if you have questions. I hope you find this helpful. Um, and uh, if you like this, please share and, uh, and like the video. Peace.